It's Saturday, November the 21st. And as I said the word Saturday uh, in an earlier attempt <laughs> to do this devotion, and I made a hand gesture and I knocked the computer off its little stand here. But when I said Saturday, I had this flashback of when I was a little boy getting up on Saturday morning and rushing to the TV to watch the cartoons while I ate my honeycomb cereal. Uh, just some fun, sweet memories of childhood. I, I was blessed with a, a wonderful childhood. But it's Saturday, November the 21st, and we're going to be talking about Proverbs 24, 11 through 12. And this became sort of an iconic verse of the pro-life movement back in the late 80s, um, maybe early 90s, because it was referenced so often in messages to churches about we should be doing something about the abortion issue in the United States. And in my particular case, it was prominent for me because it appeared in a court case in which I had been given a restraining order forbidding me to talk about abortion from my pulpit. And in the uh, inquiry to clarify to what extent could I not mention abortion in my pulpit, this verse was referenced. And we asked, if I read this verse and I say nothing about abortion, but somebody hears it, and takes that to mean they are to go stand outside an abortion clinic, am I liable for their actions? And the answer was yes. And it and carried a um, jail sentence and a, a heavy fine. Now, of course, the, the indictment was soon removed as being unconstitutional, but it was a long battle. Proverbs 24, verses 11 through 12. Deliver those who are drawn towards death, and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, Surely we did not know this, does not he who weighs the hearts consider it? He who keeps your soul, does he not know it? And will he not render to each man according to his deeds? Now, whether you apply that to abortion or in the case of uh, Nazi Germany, the, the church in Germany who seemed to have done nothing while Jews were being taken to death camps, or you apply it to some other social injustice you see in the world today. The, the, the emphasis of the passage is not about one particular injustice towards man. It's about the principle that you and I are our brother's keeper. God will expect it of us. We are to take care of those who can't take care of themselves. If we can intervene, if we have the capacity and the resources and the opportunity to help somebody who's being taken advantage of, maybe even to the point of death, and we can intervene, we should. Now, so that's a call not just to live righteously, but to live outwardly our righteousness of compassion and help for others. So don't wait and look around for somebody who's about to be killed and then step in then, but look for opportunities that you can serve other people every day so it becomes part of the way that you live your life. Try to be a blessing to others. Try to make life, other people's lives better. It should be the focus that you and I have every day. Have you ever met somebody who lives like that, where they, they literally try to make things better around them? It's inspiring, isn't it? It makes you want to be like that. They always lift up the attitude or the atmosphere of a room or an event. Every one of us can be like that. And if we do that on a daily basis, we will be prepared when a danger is imposed or an injustice is inflicted that we can react appropriately then because it, it will be part of our character to want to invest in other people's welfare. Of course, Solomon brings up the challenge. Well, we didn't know it was going on. And Solomon says, yes, you did, and the Lord knows you did. So let's keep our hearts and minds open to how God might use us to bless somebody, to help somebody, maybe even to save somebody's life from danger. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the call and obligation that each one of us have to serve you to the point that we impact other people's lives. We are often so focused on receiving the blessings that we want that we forget to be a blessing to others. Use us, and when we see injustice, when we see lives put in danger, and if we can do anything to prevent it or to delay it, give us the wisdom as to how to act. And for we ask that in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great Saturday, and I sure do hope to see you on Sunday.